Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Zaki Tamiano. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. In <laughs> 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see if this fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> just coffee? I mean, you don't want anything in the coffee? You just want regular black dark coffee? Okay, so what did you get? <laughs> okay, okay. We, we got to be a little bit serious real quick today. <clears throat> we hope and pray that today... One of two things happens. These two officially start dating today because come on. Or if they do start dating today, at least we get like a, a first kiss or something between them. Because since we are very close to the end of this show, um, and specifically probably whatever arc we are on for whatever volume for this series, I think that's when personally we're probably going to get kind of hot and heavy but not hot and heavy in the way I'm thinking like it, it'll be hot and heavy subtle edition where it's there and stuff like like I said the warm touches and embraces and you know holding each other or just leaning their heads on each other we'll get that but we won't get like the um what that one <laughs> what that one uh fan artist did with the two characters of um I'm being threatened by the world's most ha uh, handsomest man did that I saw like a couple of years ago and I was like oh, okay <laughs> I was like oh, okay oh right <laughs> and it was so funny because my friend tagged me in that shit and I was like ah! Oh, but it would have probably suited you. <laughs> yes, his love problem. He needs to know if, like, he really, truly wants to be with Suzaki. Because, you know, romance. Yeah, hormones, too, but, you know. <laughs> Sir, you're sounding like your character from I'm being by the, <laughs> being fed by the most, most handsomest man. First Mega Bean, then what's his face, and then he goes start acting like he's the character from B Stars. <laughs> okay. Which means Excuse me. Oh, of course. Mm. 
Excuse me. <laughs> you look so pretty like that. Oh God, stop it. You're making me fall for him. Hmm. Well, they kind of sound like Megami right there, like, oh, stop! <laughs> I swear to God. Well, not only right there did he sound like Megami, he also sounded like the one character that he played in, um, <clears throat> oh my God, I cannot remember the damn show, and I reacted to it. It's the one show... With the Japanese musical instrument. I literally can't remember it. But he played the delinquent. And um. Freaking um. Uh, Yuji's character played. You know the, the nice guy. <laughs> Look at him. I know he looks so damn good. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby. Excuse me. <laughs> you look so pretty. So beautiful. Cody, what are you doing back there, weirdo? <clears throat> No.
I'm having an emotional breakdown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At least you got runner up. Hey, it's not that bad. And who was first place? Yeah, I can wait a little bit longer as well. <clears throat> we got like probably about two or three more weeks left of this show. <laughs> I don't know, do you? <laughs> you just have to ask him. Yeah. <laughs> 
See, something also tells me that, like, when they do start dating, I feel like the cat is going to leave the school. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. <clears throat> Ain't that funny. Huh? No, oh, you're jealous. Well, he can respect multiple people. I mean, damn, you got a problem with that? <laughs> He's just sweet. <laughs> And I know, like, you should definitely have more. <clears throat> no, but there is. Oh, that looks good. He's just establishing dominance. <laughs> it's like when your boyfriend or your girlfriend asks it's like yeah what do you like about me like mm -hmm, yeah let me know and, and it's so embarrassing you're like oh my god I don't want to tell you <laughs> By yourself, though? Mm -hmm. Like another day? Yeah! <laughs> Well, of course, because it's a BL, my dude.
baby. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh. Excuse me. We're getting there. We're getting there. We only got a couple more weeks when we get in there. Like, oh, God. Something tells me that, okay. So, since they, we, we, did, we didn't get the answer, we just got another can you wait for me, which I am okay with that once again. He still needs more time because he's trying to figure it out. Just as much as, like, if it was a guy and a girl and the girl needed time and the guy is not. And this is the one thing that I like about Sasaki. He's not really very pressuring into it. There are <clears throat> times where, you know, when they have, like, their cute little moments, it seems like he he's being a little impatient. I, I get it because, you know, what guys, like, they want to be very impatient. But if it was a guy and a girl, of course, you're going to understand that. And I think if the girl had said, hey, can you just wait a little bit longer? Like, I do you know, like you, but I really need to know if those feelings that I have for you and that you have for me are 100% genuine, that you're not screwing me over, that you're not going to fuck me over by the end of this, like by, you know, six months to a year from now where I look back on this thinking, going, thinking about this whole like journey you and I go in this, was this the greatest thing for us or was this the worst thing that could have ever happened to me as a person? And then, you know, let's say it, it does work out, but something happens and such. And then you're thinking about it maybe even several years later. And you're like, you you think about it even more and more. And you're like, damn, what if I had said this and not that? Would we have still been together? There, There's a lot of what ifs and stuff. So I'm glad that, you know, <clears throat> Suzaki is still being patient with me, you know, because that's what you want to be with them. You don't want to always be. I mean, even though most of us girls... Because I know I am one of them. I, I like it, you know, when, like, we can both wear the pants in the family, I mean, in the family, in the relationship, but when the guy is somewhat, in a way, very, like, not controlling or manipulative, so don't think I'm saying that, more like when he takes charge, there is something about that that is really attractive. I don't know why. I Like, and it's been like that ever since I was, like, a freaking teenager going, like, between my preteens and going to my teenage years and, you know, fascinating about, like, fantasizing about hot guys and ish like that. And then it's worse with anime characters. And then it's worse with other fictional characters. And then even worse with celebrity crushes and shit. And then, you know, when you read some fanfiction, oh, God. 
But, I mean, yeah, I feel like possibly they're not officially going to start dating until, you know, um, Sasaki officially graduates and he goes on to college while Miyano is still in high school. Now, that's not bad. It's not, it, like, it kind of reminds you of, like, the today's society where it's like, um, okay, and I hate talking about this, especially, you know, in the country that I live in, um, where it's like, okay, so I'm going to give you an example. There's this one girl who I, I knew in high school. Um, she was a couple of years younger than me. I was, I was like a junior and she was a freshman. And there was this guy that we both knew who was a junior is like me. And he, he really wanted to date her. And so I remember having a conversation with her and being like, okay, don't you think this is a little weird to be dating someone who is so many ages your senior like older than you and ish because you know especially when girls wear like makeup and stuff especially when she was at a younger age than me she looks a little more like around my age and so that was the biggest reason why he was really like attracted to her and stuff um but then you know once you say oh hey i'm actually this it's like oh hold up like no um and I think with this, it's it's almost like that, but very, really different. They're at that same age where it's like, I think they're a year apart, possibly. And not being like, oh, he, let's say Suzaki was like 18 and, and Miyano was 16. That would be a little fucked up to me. But because of the fact is it seems like these two are like a year apart, then yeah, I, I feel like it might be better for Suzaki and Miyano to date when Suzaki officially graduates high school and such i mean yeah they'll still be able to see each other like you know possibly on the weekends and maybe during the weekends because i mean weekdays because of course they're both going to be busy with school and they're gonna have to now take this first step together in this relationship i mean it makes you wonder like how are they going to tell their families how are they going to tell you know the rest of their friends anyone else i mean there's so many big what ifs once again but um <laughs> it's just about waiting and I'm like come on I need it <laughs> you know like a drug but it's okay it's okay I am patient and I can wait we are I feel like we're getting there we are getting there it's just we are on that horse we are riding that horse to the finish line but you know every single time when we get like when I feel like we are at that finish line the horse is like no heart right heart left like no we're not there yet we gotta we gotta take a little pit stop before we get there but like okay okay Whatever you say. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of Sasaki Damiano. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Show the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys either next set. Nope next Sunday or next Monday morning <laughs> before I go to work, hopefully, for episode 11. Bye, guys.